Okay, let's see how we go with this. Going at matte mode for some reason. Okay, let's see what we have. We have here a Lurex purse. So it's a purse, so or something like it. Clutch, clutch bag, I guess. And this is what we're interested in: the glitter, the um, Lurex. It's a Lurex clutch. I think that's what it is. A clutch because you hold it, you clutch it, which I hate. Good way of losing coins and losing valuables money in that is to have one of these and use it <laughs> but it's just for a demo folks it's not my thing anyway anyway that looks really quite nice we've got some color Okay, let's see what else we can do with this. I'm going to go at 200 and we're going to just take this and throw it aside. I don't think we need it anymore. This is it. This is what we're using. So we're just going to put it on the glass and slide it around. to look interesting uh, maybe we can just go back to the go back to using the clutch bag I was thinking uh, going back to it get a better result we want more of that color in the image so I'm just going to pick it up out of the pile of clothes that I've got and I'm going to use it again try it again Difficult controlling movement at 400%. It's really big. Let's see if that looks any good. Yeah, still not as much colour as I was after, but it looks promising. I might have to uh, lighten it off further, take it off map, because map can make it really dark. Anyway, we're just going to put it back with all the other stuff. I really miss my partner Luigi. Uh, it really hurts to be away from him. We're going to 100. It really hurts to be away from him uh, trying to get this stuff to go to air on television. And the COVID-19 pandemic is not making it any easier. Anyway, that looks really quite interesting. Uh, but it really gets difficult trying to get some airplay with my work. 
it's really difficult, folks. Um, it really is. It's difficult. Um, but I'm willing to try. I'm going to try as hard as I can to get this stuff to go up. To go up on TV, on the airwaves. Anyway, that looks brilliant, what we have here. I do think we have to angle it on an angle to get the results, or maybe it looks really nice. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to make it work. <laughs> this is a challenging... But yeah, it's really difficult trying to get your work up there with the other TV news pieces that we constantly are being fed, like COVID-19 being the primary um, articles that we're being exposed to. And that can be very difficult I really hate COVID-19, but I don't think anyone likes it, to be honest. Except the news channels. They just want to make money out of the ratings that they get from people watching the primetime news and going crazy. Now, that looks brilliant. I think that's going to be the centre. So it's really difficult trying to get beyond COVID-19 when it's just starting to ramp up around Sydney. And I'm not looking forward to seeing the news of how worse it's become. I'm not looking forward to it, folks. I'm just hoping that somehow there'll be a positive, that somehow the numbers of people being infected uh, locally have somehow miraculously gone down. But I've heard that the virus has spread further afield right on my right in front of me folks so I'm not happy hearing that we'll soon find out what the, what the six o'clock news has to say I'm trying to keep touch with the news because I have to see when my stuff goes to air if it's going to go to air so I'm trying to get keep a monitor on what's happening and I just happen to be in front of it and COVID-19 gets sprouted up, gets pushed, pulled across, pushed across in my face. What can you do, folks? What can you do? There's no fucking... We can't do anything about it except follow the guidelines, but the guidelines are not working as well as they should. Anyway, that's come up looking nice. I think now we can call this demo quits. <laughs>